morning, afternoon, evening people. Welcome back to the channel. So if you're following the channel, you know that about six weeks ago, I just split from this hive into this nuke box. I did an inspection eight days ago now. Four full frames of brood, two frames of stores, out of six frames in here. So they're outgrowing this nuke box. So I've decided I'm going to transfer them into a full size hive. But I am going to give a bit of a helping hand because this colony are getting slightly honey bound in this brood box. These two supers are full of honey. One is nearly capped, the other one's being capped. And they've been back filling the brood box with honey. So I'm going to prevent these getting honey bound. I'm going to take two frames of honey out of this nuke box, this brood box, into here. Give these two fresh frames to draw. Hopefully give the queen more space to lay and give this colony only three frames to draw and two frames of honey to help them build up for winter. So, let's go on with it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do then is move the loot box and put a hive in its place. I'm gonna do this fairly quickly. Well, I'll try not to squish any bees. I'm using an underfloor entrance here. Underfloor entrance that I did make myself. I put a video to that if you want to see how to make these floors up here on the screen at the end of this video. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to move the frames one by one at the same time do a quick inspection if you follow the videos this is the colony of the elusive queen because this is the one where for the love nor money I couldn't find the queen so the blank frames will put them in at last Now the queen I introduced to this colony was a um, Carpathian queen marked in blue, a uh, green. Okay, so there we can see frame stores, completely packed with honey. Put that frame on the outside edge. I do want to do a little bit of checkerboarding, so the next frame I'm going to put then is going to be a blank one. Okay, that frame is completely drawn, but empty one side, the other side's got some honey, some stores. And these next frames were brewed. See that frame? Full frame of cat brood. I also see larvae around the edges. That side, same. This frame, again, full frame of cat brood. So you see what I'm saying when I'm saying they run out of space. That side as well. Damn. Now that frame was cat brood, it's now emerged and the queen's been laying in there again. We're full of larvae. that is both sides. That was cat brood, now emerged. 
I expect the queen's been laying in there again. Other side, cat brood. That frame there. And then that blank frame, put in that gap. Because we encourage the bees to draw that. As you can see, lots and lots and lots of bees in that, that box. So I tap those in. I think this is why I was struggling to find the queen so much, this colony. Again, we haven't seen the queen now. Just could be in amongst that. Okay, so the remaining bees in that box then, we're just going to gently tap them. Down into the colony. Now I haven't got them all out, what I'm going to do is just sit this box over here away from the hive, the remaining bees in there, as they start to calm down, will make their way back into the colony. What I'm going to do now is feed these, put a feeder on there, feed them sugar syrup, just give them some extra resources just to get those frames drawn. And we're going to come back in about a week's time, a week's time, have a look, see how they're getting on. So if you want to see, if you want to see the video where I did this split, I put it up here. I put the video where I built this floor, a link in the description. If you want to see the video in a week's time, we have a special how these are getting on, hit subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up, thanks for watching. Have a good day.